Hello everybody, I'm Imor Abbott. We're here on a set of Corsa in a RB26 Zalady on a mountain road with the R21. So you guys know what's going to happen. We're going to be drifting with the R21 in this episode. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All is found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So, of course, obviously, again, a massive thank you to Moza Racing for being a continued partner and hooking me up with the R21. We have a Salady here. RB26 powered Salady. And uh, this thing is loud. And I believe we can flip that back. That's actually such a sweet animation. So we're going to go full send on this mountain road. And, of course, we'll end the episode off with the replay angle, but this is going to be first impressions of the R21 in drifting. So I have everything set basically how I did my Moza R9, um, but I have full force feedback, full power in the wheelbase, but I have the force feedback limited in the game. So full feedback in the wheel, but limited in the game. So I believe about 40% in game. So we're going to go full send. And we're just going to see what happens. First impressions of the R21 in drifting here on some mountain roads. Of course, we got the Moza handbrake on lock as well with the V2 steering wheel. Ooh. Kind of clutch kicking that out. So, first impressions of the wheel, it is quite nice it feels very smooth now like i said we do have it turned down to about 40 percent in-game force feedback because of how much feedback this wheel can input out with the 21 newton meters of force but we do ooh, we do have it at 100 percent on the pit house app so utilizing all of the torque out of the wheelbase but limiting it in game feedback is definitely uh a way to go and I've been hearing a lot of people tell me about doing it that way I actually like this RV26 S13 it's a lady we're kind of just rolling through this mountain road I'll leave the link for the car as well as the track in the description box below Ooh. As I say that, we go a little bit nose into that. We got this. A little tire drop. Quick tab of the e-brake there just to get us lightly. Get out of the grass before that tire. To get us slightly angled up. And then slow down with the foot brake. Could have taken that turn way faster. But I am truly impressed with how this R21 is feeling. Definitely going to probably uh, make a video with full force feedback and full, which I probably would definitely not recommend doing because that could be extremely dangerous and very painful. And we would probably be in that ambulance that's right there if we were running it and it might be too much force feedback. For sliding this car around. This car is so good. I like this car so much right now. It's making this wheel feel so buttery. I thought we were going to go ahead first into that guardrail. We're not, uh, not doing too, too bad here. For first rips with the 21. In a sideways aspect. Wow, we actually made it all the way up. Without crashing? Um... 
I am thoroughly impressed with that. And the, f the 21 feel is actually quite nice. So we're gonna take a look at the replay camera. Oh, those pops are so loud. So the S13, the Salady felt quite nice. The R21 in a first initial throwdown and drifting is definitely very nice and extremely smooth. Comparable to my R9. Now, of course, I'm running a little bit lower in-game feedback with the 21 because of how high the newton meter force is compared to who I was when I was running my R9. But the feeling of the 21 is just more force feedback, more feel in the wheel, more ability to change, say, to make a car feel like it really doesn't have power steering and stuff like that, which is nice to have that extra force feedback uh, feeling. Uh, the R9 was definitely an incredible base. Still love my R9. Great for drifting. Great for driving and everything. This R21 just a beast above with the feel of that. And this track was so much fun. Ooh, look at that. Nice, nice flick entry. There we go. Yeah, that 13's getting it. It's a lady. S13 front. This track's a fun track. Definitely going to have to bring some uh, bigger cars. Maybe some other people do some tandems on this. Because this would be a fun Toge tandem track with some street cars like this car. So, I think that's going to do here for the first impressions of this. Going to be doing a lot of drifting videos with this wheel. Going to be cranking up the power, cranking up the rotations. Having a lot of fun with the new 21. And uh, thank once again, thanking Moza Racing for making this possible. And, you know, just so you guys know that there's going to be a lot of content coming out with this as well as you know other wheels like my r9 and things like that you know for racing aspects drifting aspects with this compared to that and comparing my r5 r9 and r21 in a whole and giving you my impressions of you know which you know wheel is you know the best for say entry level which of course is going to be the r5 you know for a comp serious competitor in drifting for just the fun of it you know and things like that and you know i'm so thankful to have a partner like moza to make all this stuff possible and this wheel is just incredible we're still on some solid lines so i'm gonna let you lay back and listen to the final part of this in the replay make sure you guys follow me on all social media i like appreciate it coming back I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>